All right, hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today we are here to talk about collections yet again, and today we are going through my GameCube collection. My small, but one of my favorite collections I have out of all of them. Uh, it's only sitting at 11 games. We are sitting at a very low amount when it comes to the GameCube. But some of the titles here are some of my favorites. I really have kept the GameCube to truly only like very particular titles that I'm pretty fond of. And so we're going to go through all of them. Not too many, won't be too long of a video, but I just want to get this video in between. Um, basically, I want to get a video in here before my next bigger video comes out. Be on the lookout for that. It will be about a game review of sorts, I guess you would say. But let's just get into the first game for my GameCube collection. It will be going pretty much from the least most interesting to the most interesting I have. So, the first one we have is Batman Begins for the GameCube. For the GameCube, we're going through my GameCube collection. I want to say it's complete in box, but there might be something missing here. But it does say it is the Precautions Booklet. I don't know if this should be coming with something else. It might be missing something. The GameCube's a hard thing for me to collect for because I really don't... I'm not familiar with this console or how they do anything it's nintendo nintendo can be weird at times so it's something where i really don't know how they work so i'm making mistakes along the way but i'm i'm figuring it out I'm figuring out how they work but batman begins you know i love the batman uh i love batman in general and i love any uh series to do with him especially the batman series of this one not the i love the arkham series for games and i love this movie trilogy and when i found out they did games on the movie trilogy I got at least the first one. I don't know if there's any more after that, but I had to pick up that one at least. Second game we got is Hulk for the GameCube. Don't know if this is actually on another console. It might be on like the PS2 or something. There's just something about the GameCube that's so, it just looks so nice to me. The case is in pretty rough condition. Bunch of smudges all over. And it's also not complete. Yeah, I'm struggling with the GameCube to start here already. I said it's one of my favorite collections, but some of these first few ones I struggled with at the beginning. This, these were some of the first GameCube games I ever picked up. I wasn't really thinking about complete and box games. I wasn't really thinking about much. I was just more thinking about the title. But now that I care about complete and box so much more, it's, uh, it's tough going to these games and seeing them not be complete and box. But this is based on the... Uh, Movie that came out in like 2000 something, 2001 maybe. One of the first ones with the CGI in it. And I actually really did like this movie, so I wanted to pick this up. I definitely got to pick up Hulk Ultimate Destruction next. That's going to be a big one for me. Uh, third game we got Crash Wrath of Cortex. Wrath of the Cortex? No, it's just the Wrath of Cortex. Got it as player's choice. Not a big fan of that, but I think I picked it online and I didn't really realize. Actually, no, I got this at my local store. This was yet again another title I picked up really early. I think really early on, I was really, really into GameCube. And as you can see, it is a fake case. Fake case entirely. Everything about it's real except for the case. But you hate to see that. I love the GameCube cases. Uh, yet again, I was not thinking straight. I just saw Crash at this time. I was after all Crash games. So, when I saw it on GameCube, I just picked it up right away. I didn't care. Um, so, yeah, you hate to see that it's not not the right case or anything. But, this is the first... Actually, no. I've tried Batman Begins and I've tried this. I have not tried Hulk yet. But, I definitely want to get around to it. This is a pretty fun game, actually. Um, it, just, it just sucks because I'm going to have to replace the case. Hopefully, it's not too hard to just go and buy a GameCube case. Maybe I can just go get a very cheap GameCube game, throw the case in there, and then there you go. Next game we got, I actually, I want to say I beat this game, but I'm pretty sure it has like a weird thing where you beat it, but then you have to like kind of beat it to really beat it. You have to do like an extra thing. We got Crash Nitro Kart. I know I played one of the Crash games, and I want to say, one of the Crash racing games, and I want to say it was the GameCube one. Now this one is my first complete in box while actually being in a real case. This was a really fun game, man, but it's so, so hard. Like, the the difficulty 
is like kind of crazy because what they ask you to do is they ask you to do all the the time trials and all this stuff at the end to actually face the final guy and uh i think i gave up at that point i was just like i think i beat him in a race he was really hard and then it was like i have to beat him again and then they're like no you got to get all these like um tokens or whatever and you got to do that by speed running and the speed running is like unfathomably hard it was tough so i just i kind of gave up at that point but to me i beat the game to me that was more like 100 percent going for that last part next we got a title i remember very fondly but have not played it since i was a kid i don't know what console i actually did play it on i definitely didn't play it on a gamecube because i did not own this console when i was young we got Terminator 3 Retribution. I think I rented this at like a local place. I had my fun with it. There it is right there. Complete box. This game was actually pretty pricey. I didn't really expect that. This was like a $40 game. Which is insane. Because I don't think this has great reviews. It's probably not actually that good of a game. But I'm still excited to play it. It's just, I was really shocked when I saw it was like 40 bucks. But I still bought it anyway, since it was like a childhood game. Alright, we're coming into the big hitters at this point for the GameCube. First one, we got Mario Kart Double Dash. Had to get Mario Kart, man. It is complete. And as you, oh, well, let me check right there. It's leaking a little bit. Um, <laughs> if I can even reveal it, yeah. $100. This cost me $101.69. Yeah, it cost me 90 bucks for the game on, and then tax on top. I saw this at my local store, man. Pretty much the moment I saw it, I was like, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I haven't seen it locally at all. I haven't seen it in person. And then the moment I did, I picked it right up. And honestly, I haven't played it yet, but I'm so excited to play this. I think this is going to be a really fun Mario Kart for me. I can't wait to play this one. Next one we got, Wario World. I'm pretty into Wario, even though the crazy thing is I've never played a Wario game itself. Even this one I got, I haven't played it yet. I've never played a Wario game myself, but I'm really into the character himself. And with any like Nintendo game that's like Mario Party or whatever, I've always been the Wario guy. I'm more leaning into Donkey Kong now, just cause like that's what I truly love. But Wario is a guy I'm pretty into for a character. And I, I do want to get a lot of the Wario games and try them out. It is complete, of course. This was a $100 game, but within tr with trade-ins, I brought it down to 90 And something that really sucks about this, just something I didn't even realize the store did at the time that I got this game, is the cover art is actually fake. Uh, yeah, the cover art's a photocopy. So, that sucks that the cover art's fake. That's probably why it looks so, like, clean. But you can see, like, the white lining. That's what kind of gives it away pretty badly. And then the feel of the, the cover art, of course, is another dead giveaway. But, yeah, it really sucks that that's not real cover art. But I'm still happy to have the game. Uh, it just sucks I've been at, like, 90 bucks for that. But hopefully I can find the cover art for decently cheap. Uh, can't wait to play the game though, man. It looks like a it looks like a ton of fun. Next one, I was hunting this one for a very long time. To be honest, I don't even remember where I found this. Maybe I found it at a convention. Mario Superstar Baseball. I got the Mario Super Sluggers. I was looking for this one for a while. I found it. Okay, I found it at my local store, and I got it for eighty bucks. It was a ninety dollar game in total. There it is, right there, complete box. This one, man, I'm really, really excited to play. I like Mario Super Sluggers. I'm a big baseball guy. Really happy to get this. Um, you know, just Nintendo putting their IPs into a baseball game is so fucking sick to me. And I cannot wait to play this game and have a ton of fun with it. Luigi's Mansion. One of the very first GameCube games I got. I got this really early on because it was like, fuck it, I'm going right for it. Something that does suck. It is complete. But pretty bad water damage on the manual itself. The manual has seen much better days. 
It's actually really difficult to open. That water damage is real, real bad. Yeah, really fun game though. I played it a little bit. I was having a ton of fun with it. Can't wait to play through this game. I do play through my games kind of randomly. Um, there's a guy called RNG Gamer. Kind of go with what he does. I think it's a really cool idea. Uh, when you have a really big backlog, it's really hard to be decisive on things. So it's better to go through like a, a thing that kind of picks it for you. Super Smash Bros. Melee. This was another title. Pretty sure I'm going to have the receipt right in here. Oh, I don't. It's a complete in box, though. This is another title that I did see in my local store. And the moment I saw it, I picked it up. I just knew right then and there. I got it for only $57. It was an $80 game. Got it for $57 back in, like, September, no, uh, September, October, somewhere around there. Um... Only got it for 57 bucks because of trade-ins, so I'm really happy to have this one. I mean, it's it's Smash Melee, man. You have to you have to have this. This is such an iconic game. And if you have a GameCube, did not have Smash Bros. Feels pretty fucking weird. And the one, my like holy grail of my GameCube collection, and I hope to get more in the series, is the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Got this at a convention for like 110 bucks. Yeah, they got their, like, little card here, Retro Game Bros. It's got the manual and everything. I mean, the game looks so good. The condition is amazing on this thing. I could not pass it up when I saw it. 110 bucks, no tax on top of that as well, because you're at a convention. Had to pick it up. Such a good-looking game. I love the art style. I've seen a ton of people play this one specifically. And I want to get some of the other ones, like the HD Collection, I think it's called, or something like that. Or that No, it's called the Collector's Edition, and it comes with a few of the uh, old Zeldas. I want to get all that stuff on GameCube, but I can't wait to get some of these, like, holy grails on this, on this console. That's kind of how I want to stick with it. I don't really want many fillers. I want, at least with the GameCube, it's going to be a very curated collection to me. And that's why we're still only sitting at 11 after like six or seven months. You know, it may be only at 11 games, but this collection probably sits at like almost a thousand dollars because every title here is pretty fucking expensive except for like Hulk and uh, Batman. The other ones are like 30, 40 plus dollars. So they go up there. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully you did enjoy. That is my 11 GameCube games. All of them right there. Very, very happy with them. Let me know which ones would you like to see next. Would you like to see another PS3 video? Would you like to see my Switch collection? My Game Boy collection? Just let me know. I got a ton of, I got a ton of different consoles that I can go through for collections. There's only like a slight few that I definitely can't go through because I only have like one game or none. But uh, yeah, let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.